Hello guys, welcome back on my channel. Today I'm going to show you what's new in the Canva AI, especially in the Canva code. The Canva just announced the Canva code 2.0, so let's check what is new in the Canva codes. So for this, we are going to the Canva AI and going to the Canva code. Uh, the first thing, you know, this is free for everyone, but the only difference between the free and the pro version is for the free users, you can uh, give, you can add 20 prompts per day. And for a pro users, this uh, number is 60. So you can create 60 prompts. Actually, the counting when you are modifying something in a design, there's already one additional prompt, but uh, let me show you. So here we have the recent chats and uh, see all you can see in the left side what we created now in the, or in the past. And this is not 20 or 60 different chats. What I talked about before, it's actually 60 prompts. So if I open this, as you can see, I already have three different uh, versions. So this counts already three different prompts. As you can see, I use short prompts, but it's already using a lot. So that's a, just a small update about it. So let me see the first one, what I ask. I just ask for a invitation card for a birthday with a, selectable option for different kind of food or drinks. I don't know why it's the randomly the convo created for Sarah for the 25th birthday, even added a, a funny address, but who cares now? So we're just adding a name. I will be there and uh, pizza, soda, just I type not and send it. So I already sent. So what's really new? From now, the Canva start to collect data and this is the, this is the game changer. This is the major things. Today, I'm going to talk about three different uh, updates. And this is the major one. The other two is also nice, but not that important. This is the major one. So if I click on data, I can open the Canva sheet. And as you can see, uh, there is a, a date when with the timestamp and was submitted with the name selected food drink also if i have any uh, allergy and attending true or false which is a really amazing stuff so you already have a list where we are that is connected to the invitation card and you don't have to check one by one you already i don't have to fill in fill in any list the canva doing the job for you that's pretty amazing Here in a version three, I asked the Canva to change the background to a solid one. I'm not sure if it really works with uh, gradient ones. Looks like for me, time to time is working, but not. I'm not sure hundred percent about it. So using a design, I just click on the website. As you can see, we can change also the also the co uh, the colors, which is pretty amazing. This was a was not in the code before. From now we can even play with uh with the colors. So, and the most important thing is also is here the edit. Here in the edit section, we can change everything what we want. That's not Sarah. Let's call it. Especially if I'm not touching the touchpad. 
why it's not let me in text here okay that's not i was on the touchpad it's something very weird thing when i just hit one letter drop me to the end that's strange but for sure if i delete everything this will work perfectly so now i just put my name we can also change the address the date also we can change the title if we want but that might be that was the title might be the subtitle and from here we can also go into the data but this is empty because i think this one is this is a different sheet so in the the, the only thing what you have to be sure we are using always the same version as you see that when i uh, updating i have an empty sheet so this is might be that that's not a really negative thing because uh, you send out the original one then someone asks for some update and doing it just do not forget to add the data from the previous sheet but this is still not a not a big issue i think we can we can live like this it's not a big big issue so that was a, a second thing what we can do we can change the color and if i close this so here we can we can publish so this is what i forgot to mention we, from here we can publish it if we want so just doing it like this yeah that's good in a, any canva free canva domain I just would have to see how it looks like go to the website so here again t yes i will be there okay this is as you can see different food options so yeah i i, want, I think i typed this uh, four options manually on the first one was just the auto so this is the difference and from here i would like to have some water only so and i'm not allergic for anything but again just put not to have some 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 for have some additional data so just send it and you can see thank you for your rsvp we can visit uh, wait to celebrate with you so it's very nice yes and i can close this and now if i go into the data it's empty that's because of the data that was generated from the from the website so in this case also have to be careful which data you open so if you are going back to my canva project and find the website i can find this uh, data what we are collecting but first before this i would like to show you another new thing here you can see new publish so we can publish directly from here but in this case we will have a also just a canva domain so that will be a same as what i did it before but just for checking if i publishing from here and adding the data view websites as you can see this is the original one what, what we don't uh, changed in the canva so this will be z yes i will be there fish juice no allergic sending the data when i closing it and closing this website hope so this data will be here i would like to see no aha okay so that was my bad so there was data panel is here when i open this as you can see the data is here 
So that was my bad. So the day, ah, okay, there is a data panel. And with this data panel, we can see there was uh, used by this uh, Canva code, this website, this iframe. And it's all is connected to this source. So that's uh, that's pretty amazing. So it's connected, as you can see, and the data what I add is here. So maybe the previous one was also empty because of because of this. I forgot to check the data. But at least we know also this. So that's a pretty amazing. Uh, feature is everything is connected now we know this uh, we also have to check the data and uh, we also as you can see we also have this magic chart so we can create a chart about it but now it's i don't want to do it because it's a or actually we can do it create a time pie chart but or a bar chart but at the moment yes I just did it because at the moment from the zero data, what can I add? So not zero, but one data is, of course, everything will be 100%. But now you can see that also really good thing. We also can play, play with it. Even we formatting this if we need. But this is just a data collection. And actually, this is the biggest thing in this Canva code 2.0 is this data collection. That's pretty amazing. I love it. And it's really a game changer now in a Canva code because uh, we can create easily those things and uh, don't need any third party application for like for this invitation. Even we can uh, design it if we really want. And the most important things, everything is in one place and the data is collected here. We don't have to pay for other third party softwares and it's immediately organized by the Canva. Data is collected. We have already, already have the table. We just have to sort how I want. So this tutorial is going to the end. Hope so you like it. If you really like it, please do not forget to hit the small like button, subscribe to my channel, leave comment in the comment section, and please also visit my Facebook page. You can find the link in the description where you can find uh, tons of another uh, Canva tutorials, not only from me, also from great Canva experts. Plus, you can find uh, links for my Instagram and TikTok page, also in the description, where you can find a bunch of short tutorials about Canva. As I already mentioned, you can find uh, links in the description. But now, this tutorial is really going to the end. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Ciao.